The stretching of the Reckonus Peninsula between the Eurasia and the Americas plates, these are the tectonic plates, lithosphere or crust of the earth cracked at points, and then we have a crack in that area, which is uh, surfacing near the ground. We can see it in the form of the Grindavik Rift Valley. And under it, because of the uh, this magma accumulation, we have the land rising. And this uh, swelling up of the land is now reached the level of the 16 million cubic meters of magma. We can see it, we can measure it by the GPS data, the distance between us and the satellite. At this uh, stationary point, we measure it. We can see also through the Earth by looking at the depth and the magnitude of the earthquakes. This is somewhere between 7 to 3 kilometers depth. We are having these tremors showing the stretching and the entry of the magma filling up the gaps is happening at that depth. And what we are seeing is that under the Swartzengi, a reservoir is forming. It's not a magma chamber. Magma chambers usually collapse after a while. A reservoir we have there is like a hydrothermal uh, system where we have the juices and the magma and all these fluids coming, filling up the gaps, cavities, porosities in the ground. And then from when it is full, all these porosities, it can reach the surface as a spring. This is spring is a spring of fire. It erupts to the surface. We see it like that. It's not like water. The land is rising because this material is heavy. It's three times denser than the water and actually can rise the whole earth crust ab above it to a certain level, 20 centimeters so far. This reservoir is very similar to aquifers. I've compared it all the time with this, especially in several other videos. You have to dig into those videos. You will see that. And this reservoir is now rising. It will reach a level that it can actually uh, create a spring of the lava to the surface that we call a volcano.